How's it going, guys? Welcome to Pokemon Soul Silver. I know I was talking about possibly doing Pokemon Sun or Moon when they came out and doing them blind, and I was I was really planning on doing that. Because the more I thought about it, I decided I would rather have my first experience with Sun and Moon just be my own experience on my own time, rather than having to worry about recording. But I still wanted to do a Pokemon game. I still wanted to do something different to break things up. Something alongside Ghost Trick that was different than the games that I've done on the channel so far. And uh, I haven't played any of the Johto games in a while. Soul Silver, Heart Gold, Gold Crystal. It's been a long time since I've touched them. Never played the original Silver at all. But uh, yeah, I'm like I've never I haven't played those in a while. So I'm like, okay, I'll just go ahead and do Soul Silver. Because my copy of Heart Gold is in Japanese. Soul Silver is the only one I have in English. So I'm doing that one. Um, and yeah, and I was going to wait until around when Sun and Moon came out. But today I was going to record Ghost Trick, and I'm like, I think I'd rather just play Pokemon instead. Go ahead and start it now. So I'm going to do that. We're going to play Soul Silver. I hope you're okay with that, and I hope you enjoy it. And it's going to be a Nuzlocke. Because, yeah. So yeah. No info needed. I've been at this for a while. And I can use the touch screen, that's nice. I don't like buttons. It is, uh, yeah, it's 2 p.m., so you overslept a tad. Hello, Oak, my good friend. I'm gonna have to change this text speed. What do you have to tell me? Pokemon, no way, dude. Meryl! Adorable. Oh, and we're gonna get a lot of that. A lot of that battling. It's gonna be great. Alright. The boy design in this game is probably one of my favorites. But I think the girl... Actually, you know what? I don't know, I kinda like the boy one better. A lot of the time I find the boy to look really boring, and the girl has a lot more going on. And maybe it's just because I've played the boy so many times growing up, I of course always chose a boy when I was younger. But now as I'm older, it's like, oh, I'm tired of that. I kind of feel like the boy looks cooler than the girl in this instance, honestly. I was going to choose her, but I don't really, uh, I don't really like her design that much. I'm going to pick him. Because honestly, now I just go with whichever one I think looks cooler, regardless of gender, and it's usually the girl in pretty much all the other games. I know in Sun and Moon, I think the girl looks way cuter. Because I don't think the boy looks cute, but I'm saying she looks really cute and he just looks boring. So, yeah, but I, I like this guy's design, so we're gonna go with him. And I'll just go with the my, my actual name, because that's simple. Are you ready? Very on Tale of Grand Adventure! Oh, dude. You don't even know. I'm gonna kick this thing's ass. I hope I get... I don't know. I'm fine with any starter. I'm partial to fire types. Let me change this text speed. How, can, how do I... Can I not pause the game at all? I can't pause the game until I get my options and shit. Can I get a potion? No potion, just a letter. Adventure! Excited! I love Pokemon! Okay. Oh, oh. Oh, okay. Uh. Oh. Jeez. Alright, full sentences not to be expected from that person. But yeah. I like all three starters. I'll talk more about that when I get there. Your friend Lyra was just here. Nice. Meryl. I almost forgot our acquaintance Professor Elm was looking for you. Said he had a favor to ask of you. You know where the lab is, right? Oh yeah, right. <laughs> if it's right next door, why would you need to ask that? Alright, now I can pause since I now have a bag. Nice. Will do. Th thank you, Mom. Fantastic. You are a saint. I'll touch those buttons real good. So I'm going to change text speed to fast. But yeah, I'm partial to fire types, and I like Cyndaquil because of that. So, you know, that's cool. Totodile is great, too. Totodile is the only Pokemon I've ever done a solo run with in my Japanese Heart Gold. I used only my starter. I got him to level 100. He's the only Pokemon I've ever gotten to level 100. I did, like, everything you could do in Heart Gold with just for Alligator, and he was a badass, and I love him. Cyndaquil... Not Cyndaquil. Chikorita is the one that I've used the least, which is the case with almost every grass starter. 
but especially Chikorita for sure. I've barely ever used one. So I wouldn't really mind getting a Chikorita because uh, it'd be different. I haven't really used it that often. So anyone would be fine for just different reasons. Yeah, it's pretty cool, right? It's just like a house. <laughs> what are you staring at? Whoa, man! Back off! Alright, you're lucky that I'm fucking feeling good today. If I was in a bad mood, you'd be done! So, what's up, man? Hi, Josh, I've been waiting for you. Do you know anything about my research? As you know, Professor Pokemon are carried in Pokeballs these days. Were they, did they used to not be? I guess. I guess they were. there was a time when they weren't invented, huh? I never really thought about that. Holy shit. Before the Pokeball was invented. Oh, yeah, actually, yeah. They just walk around with their entire team. That would be crazy. And that's why we get, we get to walk around with one of them in this game, which is really awesome, and I wish they would bring that back. I don't know why they did that for this game and then never again. It'd be great. I love that feature. I want it to be in all of them. But they did it here and then just said, nah. Let's bring that feature from yellow back for Heart Gold and Soul Silver for some reason, and then not again, ever. It would be great in Sun and Moon too, because the region is all tropical, so it's like, yeah, outside getting some sun, walking around with your Pokemon. That'd be cool. I gotta go get a Pokemon egg. Yeah. So anyway, I gotta check my trainer number. The last digit will determine my starter. One through three is Chikorita. 4 through 6 is Cyndaquil, and 7 through 9 is Totodial. Who's it gonna be? It's gonna be... Totodial with a 9. Okay. Like I said, Chikorita would've been cool just because I rarely used it, but I really like Cyndaquil and Totodial, so I'm fine using them again. Who do we got? Sorry, Chikorita. Sorry, Cyndaquil. Hello, buddy. I do. Yeah, look at him. I haven't thought of nicknames at all. I'll go with my ra my uh, my normal naming theme, which is the first word that I think of. Should I go all caps? Yeah. I'm not gonna name him that. I'm not gonna name him Caps. I'm gonna name him... Captain, because that's the first word that I thought of. And he'll be the captain of the team, too. Yeah, that's a really stupid name. Forgive me. How do you like walking with your Pokemon? I'll change it later, maybe, because it's stupid. <laughs> that's a really dumb name. Uh, yeah, I'll do that. He doesn't need healing just yet. Alright, we'll head over there past Cherry Grove. We'll go get the thing. Can I get running shoes, like, right now? It's very soon, isn't it? I'll take potions, though, for sure. See. So, Captain, what's up? Maybe naming him that will be a good luck charm, because if he's a captain, he's not allowed to die ever. I didn't even explain what a Nuzlocke was, because everybody knows what it is at this point, and if you don't, you can look it up yourself. Plus special defense, minus special attack. Well, that's not cool. Apparently, he's more of a physical attacker anyway, but still, lowering special attack, because I would probably teach him Surf. That's not cool. But whatever. I don't really care about abilities. I mean, not abilities. Natures. Doesn't really matter all that much in the main game. Josh, you picked a Totodile! Yeah, we both got water types. Mine's better. Look at my sharp-ass teeth. I could probably pop your Meryl. I'll go show Mom my alligator. Is he an alligator? You got Totodile, Croconaw, but then it completely changes for the third one and becomes for Alligator, which was too many letters to fit in and they had to spell it weird. Yeah, isn't it awesome? I'm sorry, he. I don't mean to call him an it. Totodile actually is the first Pokemon I ever chose. Ever. Because the first time I played one of the main Pokemon games, it was Crystal. Yeah, I know how to call up someone on a phone. Uh, my cousin brought it over to my house, and I played it a little bit. And I just picked Totodile, because I thought he looked the coolest. And I just played a tiny little bit. 
But yeah, Totodile is the first Pokemon I ever chose, actually, so it's kind of cool to have him here. Oh my god, what? What do you want? Um, then I, uh, I got a little further in the game and I saved, not realizing that it would delete my cousin's file. And then the next time he came to visit, he's like, hey, you deleted my crystal file. And I'm like, oops, sorry. <laughs> oh well, sorry man. That was at least a decade ago. I'm sure he's forgotten about it. Anyway, Route 29. The grass looks weird in this game. I've always thought that, and I still think it does, and it's, it, I don't know what it is, it just freaks me out. Centrit, fascinating. But yeah. That is what got me into Pokemon. I didn't really know what it was like at all. I had watched the anime, and I owned Pokemon Stadium, one and two. But I never played in the main games, and I just like, oh, okay, I'll just go in the grass, and... Like, I didn't know what these Pokemon were, because I, I didn't really play much of Stadium 2. I didn't really watch much of the Johto anime or anything. I just watched the original anime. So I didn't really know about these new Pokemon. So I'm like, I don't know. This one, he looks cool. He's got badass sharp teeth and everything. So I picked him. I didn't know how the game worked. So I just, I walked out into the grass and I didn't know what was going to happen. I didn't know that Pokemon could jump out at me. So when I encountered my first Pokemon, I was like, whoa, holy shit, what's happening? It was like, it was such a cool experience think fondly back to that time when I, I didn't know what was up with Pokemon and it was just completely new to me. I know there's nothing over here, but I like to walk around anyway, just to make sure. And it was cool. I don't think I really got anywhere, because again, he was just over there for that day. I was just playing it. Since he had it with him, I just played a little bit. But it was neat, and it inspired me to get more. I was like, that was pretty cool. I liked that. I want to go uh, get Pokemon games of my own, and I did. I went out and I bought some fun times. The guy gave me potions, now I just got that one. I'm not really running into anything, uh, what's up with that? I can't catch anything yet anyway, so my encounter is not gonna count until I actually get Pokeballs, Captain. <laughs> That's so dumb. I could have at least given him a, na a name, like a real one, or just like a made-up stupid word. Just naming him a word is stupidly in the middle, even if it's a title that you would have. I don't know. But I love how happy he looks. He, I think he's okay with it. He doesn't mind the name. Look at him. He's so excited. He's got... You can even see his, his toes. Like, he's got one foot in the air. He's just dancing. He's balancing on one foot. He's a happy camper. And the fact that he's so happy looking makes me even... makes me want to protect him even more. Got water gun already, that's pretty cool. Although, again, lower special attack, but whatever. I need those running shoes. I can't handle this. <laughs> I can't handle this speed. Like the original games, red, blue, and yellow, and such, they didn't have running shoes at all, right? Oh, geez. <laughs> if I ever play those, like, it's gotta be on an emulator just so I can speed it up. I can't handle the, the slow. I, you get a bike, right? So I guess that's fine. There's nothing down here. Again, it's been a while since i played, so I do kind of just want to look around little nooks and crannies, make sure there's no items, even though I was pretty sure there wasn't. I went to set the date and time on my 3DS for, for this, just because I wanted it to be accurate. And for whatever reason, the date on my 3DS was set to October... I don't remember the date, but it was 2013. I was like, what? How does that even happen? <laughs> okay. I don't know why, but yeah, now it's accurate. And at the beginning of the game, I was thinking they were going to ask me what time it was, because I was thinking of gold and crystal and such. At the beginning, when they ask you what time it is, so you can have the day-night events, I forgot that it doesn't need that anymore. It's not like Hoenn, where you're actually setting your clock, they just ask you it. But they don't need that anymore, because it just reads it from your system. So that's why I was thinking at the beginning they were going to ask that, and I was confused why they didn't. I just now realized. Ah, technology. Oh, th thank you, old man. You're my favorite character. Old man Jenkins. Over here, going to give me those shoes after he t gives me a little tour, which is a bit of a waste of my time, and by a bit I mean entirely a waste of my time, but he'll make up for it by speeding up my entire adventure in the long run with the running shoes. I appreciate it, dude. Although, 
running shoes can go suck a dick in Sun and Moon because you can ride a Tauros. I played the demo for Sun and Moon, and let me tell you, riding a Tauros is the greatest thing to ever happen to video games. I loved it so much. I didn't know that you could just do it anywhere. I thought when I heard about the riding Pokemon that it would just be in specific areas, like in X and Y, there's places where you can like ride the Rhydon or whatever, the Rhyhorn through the rocky areas, but no. Oh yeah, this game's awesome because you don't even have to hold B. You just touch the button and then yeah! I remember when these games came out, I uh, was in school and a friend of mine was playing it and he didn't know about that. He was just holding down B and I told him, I was like, hey man, you can just hold down the fucking shoe thing. He's like, no way. But yeah, um, when I played the Sun and Moon demo, you can just summon the Tauros anywhere. I was in the town and I just summoned it. I'm like, what's happening? Whose Tauros is this? Where is it coming from? But And I get these cool riding gear and you ride it around and it's so fast. So screw the running shoes, screw the bike, I'm just riding that Tauros everywhere. I hope it's the same in the main game. If it's just like that in the demo, I'm gonna be very sad. I mean, I can't buy anything of interest yet, can I? I can't buy Pokeballs. Was this the first game that you could run in buildings, or could you do that in Diamond Pearl Platinum? I think you could do that in those. Whatever it was, the first game you would, could run in buildings, I was super happy for that too. But yeah, the Tauros thing, it's, it's made me like genuinely extremely happy, it was awesome. You just charge through everything. If you get into battle on it, you're wearing your riding gear in the battle, it's neat. And thankfully, I can have the Tauros instead of the stupid uh, roller skates or blades or whatever from X and Y, because those were just obnoxious to control. So I didn't even use them really. Weedle! What's up, man? I like how he's all he's all curved up, like he's just ready to latch onto you or trying to wave. He kind of looks like he's trying to wave, but he can't because his little feeler arm things are just, they're too stubby. And that's really the eternal struggle of Weedle. Trying to say hi, trying to be nice to people, but they just don't understand it. They just think he's a bug, curling himself up in weird ways, and they don't understand his intentions. And that's why when he evolves, he becomes a bee, because because of that, he grows to hate people because they don't accept his love. And he turns into a bee who just wants to sting. And that's really the sad tale of Weedle. I don't know where that came from, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Maybe I should just make up my own story about every Pokémon that I run into, see if I can come up with one for every single one. I won't be able to. I'll tell you right now. Totodile, his story is that he's just really happy. He's just a happy crocodile alligator. Crocagator, that's all he's got to him. He's just a happy guy. What? Oh yeah, it's like really good. It's a good house. Oh, does this guy give me the thing? The berry thing? Apricorns, whatever. Berries, apricorns, I don't know if I can know. I never really, I never have done anything with the apricorns. I've never cared much for them. Maybe I should, but uh, I don't remember ever giving much of a shit, but I'll take them, I'll get them anyway. If I see one, I want to go after it because of this. Yeah, because that's kind of cool, how it just pops out. I got a Gurn apricorn, my favorite flavor. So let's go! Nice, made it through. All right, I would like Totodile to get up a little bit more. He's only level 6 right now, right? At least 7 will be... will be cool for the battle uh, up ahead soonish. Although I don't think it would be difficult no matter what. Hello again, Weedle. He's almost 7 right now, isn't he? Yeah. He's close. That's cool. This thing is gonna poison me. One of these is gonna poison me. And, yep, okay, yep, there you go! Maybe I shouldn't have said anything. I truly hate poison. I think it is the worst thing. It's not, though, because confusion is the worst thing, and it should be done away with entirely. I hate confusion more than anything else. But poison sucks, because every time I get hit with something like Poison Sting, it always gets me. So often, so it seems, anyway. That's why they gave me that antidote. I guess I'm gonna have to use it. I don't really have time to... I, I can't be going back to the Pokemon Center. 
Maybe Mr. Pokemon will have a nice machine in his house, or maybe he'll just... He'll be one of those characters who can heal me just by talking to him. Which I've never understood. Where do you get those mystical healing powers? Maybe they use items on them. That's entirely possible. Maybe. Oh yeah, I should probably... I should probably take care of that right now. I really do like... Uh, I guess it was X and Y where they changed it. Where poison does not affect you outside of battle. That's really nice. I, I do like that very much. Pretty cool. And the experience share and all that shit, which made the game easier, but man, I really liked it. <laughs> Just because it's so helpful. Experience share for training and the non-poison for just convenience. I hope they keep the experience share that way in Sun and Moon. Although, maybe give you two options. Maybe give you that experience share and also a regular one, so you can choose. Or, you know, give it like two settings. You can make it just affect one Pokemon or your whole team. That'd be kind of cool. And then just for like the main game, you could just have it affect one. But then, later on, if you're just trying to catch and train a bunch of Pokemon, set it to, uh, set it to all. Make it, uh, fitting for whatever your needs are, or for however easy you may want the game to be. I don't really want to fight these guys anymore. I'm getting low on health. I don't want to use any of the potions, even though I have plenty. How many did they give me? I've got seven. But I don't want to fight anymore. Fucking goddammit! I don't want to fight anymore. I don't want to use a potion. I'm high enough level for now. It's fine. I kind of just want to get there. I'll fight this Kakuna. Because I don't think it can hurt me unless it has Poison Sting. It's already a cheater, evolving from a Weedle before level 7. Better not cheat with Poison Sting. It doesn't matter because I'm going to take it out anyway. So yeah. This episode's a little longer than normal. I'll just let it go to, uh... Oh, nice. I'm glad I fought that Kakuna. I'll go talk to Mr. Pokemon, and then we'll end it after that. Rage! Well, okay. Oh, boy. Hello. Punk! Apricorn. I'll take it. I'm here... What the fuck? Go in the door. <laughs> Oh my god, I can't even go in a door. Ah. You, one of you can heal my Totodile. Give it. This is what I want Professor Elm to examine. The mystery egg! A friend of mine from Ecritique gave it to me. I can't? Really? Well, I mean, Ecritique's in Johto. But... Whatever. I don't know where he got it from. I uh, I was planning on it, yeah. Oh, yeah, thank you, man. I appreciate it. Good thing I didn't use a potion. And Oak is here, too. Some words of wisdom from him. And with that, I'm Professor Oak, a Pokemon researcher. Yo, Josh. I was just visiting my friend Mr. Pokemon. I heard you were running an errand for Professor Elm, so I waited here. Okay. Yeah, he's not even looking at you. He's, he likes me so much already that he's just intently staring at me while you're talking. I'm Surely I will, yes. If they die, though, I have to abandon them. That's just how it is. Don't judge me. Thanks, man. You do that. And if all this... All this, um, these mentions of other people and other towns getting me all excited. If this was the first time I played this game, I'd be like, Oh, Ecrity, Goldenrod, what are these places? I can't wait to go there. I haven't actually talked to you yet. What are you, are you good? Oh, okay. That's kind of a downer way to end the episode. It makes it sound like he wants to go back. Like, oh, he doesn't like me and he wants to go back to Professor Elm. <laughs> but anyway, what, what? It's a disaster. It's just terrible. What should I do? It, oh, no. Please get back here now. Uh, okay. We'll leave it there. We'll, we'll, we'll cliffhang it. Professor Elm is in mortal peril. And, uh, we're gonna end it there. So, yeah. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys later.